After publishing a memoir six years ago, this author continues to tell stories and this one invoking some critical thinking. Here on Native and author Ted Stamp is joining us from Marshall this afternoon. And Ted, can you first tell us about your personal story and where life has led you? Well, I can start with the injury that really changed it, which was in 1993. It was a month after I graduated high school and it was a spinal cord injury. I was at work. We were um, working for a, a park maintenance outdoor friends of mine and we were just playing around, goofing around. And we were just, I was went to kind of take him down to the ground and that resulted in a, a severe spinal cord injury. And um, that was, that really changed the course of course of my life. I was headed for college before that. And so that took me on kind of a three year hiatus uh, past that. I grew up in Huron, South Dakota. So that's where it happened. And uh, the book, the first book describes kind of that, what a little bit about my life before that disability and then everything that came after, uh, mainly the injury and all the kind of the stages. There are about seven stages that I went through or that my family and I and friends kind of went through for about three years. And then at that, about that three year point was marked by the fact that I uh, became a Christian at that point. And that changed my life again, very, very drastically. Um, so that, that was what the first book uh, covered. And that pretty much, those are two of the central points so far, other than the formative events, of course, being raised. Uh, there's many of those, but these two have, of course, shaped me in uh, more definitive ways for my adult life. And I'm 48 now, I'll be 49 in October. So it's been about, well, it's actually been 30 years. Uh, 93 was my injury in June of June 29, 1993. And Ted, the title of your second book also frames my next question. And, you know, tell me something that I don't know. What can you tell me about this second book? The second book stems from, it's really just a book, I, I suppose, about, in some ways, about being curious about life, just noticing little things. I'm a writer. I was a, I spent five years at Southwest State University here. I got degrees in creative writing of literature and educate. I thought I was going to go into education, but writing really has kind of taken off. It wasn't something I did as growing up. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like English and now I really love all of it. And so I just been kind of experimenting in that realm, different forms of writing. And so there's always ideas. Uh, any writer, I think would say that they're always thinking about things to write about, marking things down. And that's just what I've done for the last, ever since I've, you know, I graduated in 2001. And uh, I'm always putting things down in notebooks and some of them go nowhere. And then others, you know, you put down something and 10 years ago and, you know, a year later or a month later after the fact, you see something else that might go that, you go along with that. And you go to the folder and you add it to that. And some of these ideas are very diverse. There's seven essays in the book and they're all very different. Um, and I just was writing them not with any intention of publishing them. Uh, and then the title of the one, one, there's one essay with that title. It just seemed to kind of uh, overarch or be the umbrella that fit the theme of all the others, which was um, just kind of looking at, you know, you look at very basic things in life, but just kind of going beneath the surface, asking why and how and exploring things a little below the surface and kind of getting beyond the, the everyday, um, we take it for granted, things we take for granted. And there were several interweaving themes. And so it just kind of came together. And the more I worked, it just seemed to be something that I prayed about, uh, about publishing it. And the pieces just really came together. And I thought, yeah, I think this will work. And then it just became a matter of, um, you know, I've got other ideas I'm working on. How much longer do I go another year or two or three years before I do this? And it just seemed okay to do it now. It seemed to be, um, although the ideas are different, they're interweaving themes and it just worked. So I'm thankful that it did. And Ted Stamp discussing his latest book, Tell Me Something I Don't Know. You can find a link to that with this story over on dakotanewsnow.com. We'll be right back. 